him. The shit got ugly after the first round. I mean, Smith was really pissed off because Ryan Spann was talking a lot of shit before the fight. And Smith just choked him out with a rear naked choke, took his back, finished him off. And I mean, wow, that was wild, man. But, you know, at times it looked like Span was almost out. You know, Smith was just the overall better fighter. Span just went there trying to take Smith's head off. And he really just went in there too much, too much. Span went in there trying to finish the fight in the first round and really put everything out there. You know, you don't do that with a guy like Smith. You know, you don't try to finish the fight in the first round unless you know you have him hurt. Because the thing is, what can happen is a guy as experienced as Smith, he's going to counter you and really make you wobbly and just, just really, really... Put a hurting on you. And that's what he did to Span. Span was already hurt when he hit the ground. And Smith is a natural black belt. He was angry after the fight. He was pissed off. You know. Uh, he said to Span. Where's my fucking respect? Like. You know the dude has something to prove. I don't understand why he does that. You know Smith. You know. Respect man. Like. I mean. You know. The thing is. You know. Span didn't have any respect before the fight. So. And uh, it kind of got ugly. Look at the security. Um, yeah. You just won the fight, Smith. Like, relax. Relax, bro. Relax. Just stay relaxed. You won the fight. It's in the heat of the moment. I know. The, both both of the hooks. I mean, the, I mean, hey. Don't take anything back away from Smith's victory. The dude did everything correct. You know, the hooks were in beautifully... The chin was not tucked for Span, and he finished him off just like that, man. That stuff was beautiful, man. Like, I really liked the ground game from Smith here, you know. And and, and the striking was beautiful, too, you know. Uh, the thing is, Span just went in there trying to finish the fight in the first round. You overextend yourself, you get clipped with a hook, you get clipped with a jab, you get clipped with the overhand right. And those things hit you flush when you overcommit and you miss a shot. That's when you're most at, you're at risk. That's when you're most at risk because you're overextending and then you get clipped with a shot over the top. You're not protecting your chin. Hits you clean. You're not actually rolling with the shots. So you take the full brunt of the punches. But, you know, the stuff kind of got a little bit heated here, you know. Um, I hate to see that, you know. I hate to see that after a fight. You know, um, I like to see more respectful interviews towards the end of the fight. I don't want to see this craziness after the fight. You know, I like seeing more respect, you know. Uh, but, you know, Span, you know, that's what you that's what you get when you do all this craziness. Um, yeah, you know. But uh, the wrong game plan, for sure. Definitely the wrong game plan in this fight. You know, Smith is too experienced for you to go in there and just finish him in the first round. Because if, if okay, A, if you get if you don't get the finish in the first round, you gas yourself out and you have four rounds to go. And B, if you miss your shots and you don't hit him and he counters you, you may be the on the receiving end of getting knocked out. So it's a double-edged sword. You may win or you may knock him out or you may get knocked out. So uh, I liked I liked uh, Ryan Spann's work, though. Um, he almost got finished a couple times and he was uh, very resilient. Uh, he tried to finish. Well, S Smith almost finished him with a Dars, actually. And then Spann rolled out of the position, defended pretty well. The back take, though, was kind of the writing on the wall. Safe Sayuz, his coach told him, uh, make sure you don't let him get those two hooks in. Smith only had one hook in. I mean, Span had the right positioning with the with the arm, but he didn't turn with it. So, you know, made, made a couple mistakes there. Uh, definitely, you know, not the best elite ground fighter. But, you know, Span, I think he should still be in the UFC, you know, try to make more fights. I think he should still fight in the UFC. He's not, I don't think he should get released because the guy, 
it happens. You know, Smith's got like what sixteen losses, so you know, uh, Span can come back and get better and get better and get better and maybe get a rematch down the line. So uh, it's not a bad performance. I am not. I, I don't like to see this side of Anthony Smith, man. I like seeing the more respect side, bro. Like it's uh. But Smith's paid his dues, man. He's been in the sport for such a long time, and he's just put his time in, and he deserves his respect. You know uh, that that's. But but Span said after the fight, respect. Like I heard him say respect. You know, and then uh, Smith was just wilding out. Like, damn. I mean, I didn't expect to see that. You know, uh, that was kind of wild. You know, I like to see the moment of respect shown towards these two warriors. Um, you know, Span, he can come back, you know, just work on your ground game and come back in the next fight. He lost this fight, go back to the drawing board and work hard for your next fight. It's it's a learning curve, baby. Like it's part of the game. Wins and losses, part of the game. You lose a fight, you get better in your next fight, you might lose that fight too. Get better for your next fight, get back to the training camp, get back to the gym, train again, get ready for your next fight, and you may win that fight. And then you may get a win streak going, and then you may get a title shot, and then you may become champion, and then you may defend your belt, and then you might lose again, build yourself back up, get a title run again, fight for the title, become champ. That's how the UFC is, man. Like, it's not even about the losses at this point. Well, it is to a certain extent. You can't, if you lose more than two fights, the UFC may look at you and say, okay, is he worth the investment here? Are we getting back enough money? He's losing these fights. So, you know, so you can't lose. A protracted number of fights you can only lose a certain amount and it also depends who you are as a fighter how many people you can draw in to fight for these fights but you know the first fight was pretty much a firefight you know smith and span just put it all out there just throwing everything but the kitchen sink and both fight i mean the fight was not going five rounds i could see that they looked like it was a kind of like bad blood or they had something to prove out there you know uh Span just wrong game plan. I just don't think that was the correct game plan to have. You know, uh, why would you go out there and just risk it all to try and win a fight that, like, I don't know, man, you know, kind of crazy to me that you just go out there and throw it out and put it all out on the line like that? Damn. I mean,. I guess Span is more of a kill or be killed type fighter. He's not really uh, the fighter that takes his time and is just patient. The dude was super badly hurt after the fight. You know, very, very badly hurt. Stumbling all over the place and just bloody nose and shit. I mean, of course, it's a fight. You're going to have a bloody nose. But he was really stumbling after the fight. Really stumbling.